So here I am in um, Cape Town and I'm trying out uh, something quite uh, fiddly actually, a selfie video. Uh, we're here in South Africa to uh, take part in a workshop, a workshop on failure. Uh, probably always a good idea to, to think about your failures uh, before talking too much about your successes. And we'll be thinking about um, failure in the context of um, developing systems for uh, emerging market, developing world, resource constrained communities. Um, it's the weekend and so we've had some um, time off and yesterday we went to a really uh, lovely beach just near Cork Bay, um, about half an hour from here. And uh, there was a tidal pool. Tidal pool is a, an enclosed area of uh, the coast where the sea washes in and you can paddle in there safety, safely away from the sharks and from the very big waves. And one of the things that people were doing yesterday was to stand on the, um, the wall which separated the tidal pool from the ocean and they'd wait for very, very large waves to come and knock them into the sea. Great deal of fun, lots of laughter. Now, some people there had obviously mobile phones, they were capturing uh, the images. Um, some people had uh, uh, waterproof cameras sitting inside the tidal pool, taking pictures as people fell in and joined them. Uh, as the swell hit them like concrete um, into the pool. Uh, another had a GoPro strapped to their head, uh, capturing the moment as they toppled in. It really was quite interesting thinking about people's use of um, technology and how um, perhaps we could be a bit more imaginative around the sorts of technology we take into those playful situations. A really great example that I've seen recently is of the Pano um, camera. It's a, a ball, about the size, I guess, of a, a small uh, beach ball that you'd throw around in a crowd. And it has lots and lots of little cameras on the outside of the ball. And as you throw it up into the air, when it reaches its highest altitude, it starts to take lots and lots of pictures. The ball drops down, you catch the ball, and later, all those images are stitched together to create a, an image, a fantastic panoramic image, but also an image that you can um, explore um, digitally. So what else we would take to the beach? You know, having GoPros and having them strapped to your head, for me, it turns us and those activities into cyborgian ones. Taking a, a sort of beach ball with cameras and tossing it around and capturing the action, that seems much more uh, the right way to go. So maybe there will be rubber rings with cameras. Maybe there will be um, devices that we wear that which will capture the sense of the motion that as a wave knocks us over and perhaps we have that motion played back or our music attenuated to give us a sense again of that moment. I think we should think more like that instead of simply taking our existing technology and making it um, more waterproof, uh, more robust and doing more of that. And I can see that, uh, yes, one of my colleagues is uh, helping in the background to provide some experiential uh, in all this, all the seriousness of what I'm trying to give in this talk. So I'll leave you there and remember to go and change the world.